Welcome back. One fund manager is outperforming the market using a long short strategy. Mitch Rubin is the chief investment officer of River Park Funds, where he oversees a five star fund that has returned 25 percent so far this year. Mitch, welcome to you. You manage a lot in separately managed accounts and mutual funds for a portion. You take a long short approach. What exactly are the names that stand out as real ones you want to own right now versus ones you want to sell short? Well, this is a time that not only is there unprecedented economic disruption, but we think it's accelerating the natural forces of creative destruction happening throughout the technology and the innovation world. So we've been long the Internet and tech media winners, as well as a bunch of other innovators. And we've been tactically shorting businesses throughout the year that have been both secularly affected by difficult economic situation. And then that was accelerated by, obviously, the COVID. So, so what types of names are we talking about? Which ones stand out as the real beneficiaries or ones getting hit hard given the COVID-19 outbreak? So we focus mostly on fundamentals. And if you look at the companies whose businesses are still performing extraordinarily well, you have some of the big cap tech companies, Google, Facebook, Amazon, all with 15, 20 percent revenue growth, even in the first quarter. You have some lesser known names like Dexcom, or Blackstone that still have really strong growth in their businesses, and we're long all those companies. They also have fortress balance sheets and really strong cash flow. And then the kinds of businesses we're short, we've been evolving. We were short energy coming into the year. We shorted travel and entertainment into the early part of the crisis. And now for, for where we are now, we're a little bit less short, but we're still short advertising agencies, uh, some industrial companies, businesses like Harley Davidson or Iron Mountain that we think are secular losers. All right. So so I understand the advertising thing because people are not spending as much on advertising these days. We get that. I, I want to focus in on, on Harley Davidson. Hog is one of your top short ideas. W why exactly is that? Aside from the fact they're selling less, you know, motorbikes and electric vehicle bikes. What exactly is the long term thesis for why you don't like Harley Davidson right now? So we love the brand. It's an iconic American company, but it is maybe the poster child for a secular declining business. The baby boomers that were big aficionados of big heavy duty motorcycles uh, have ridden those bikes over the years. They're getting older now. They're riding them less. Most of those bikes are hobbies. So as used bikes, they're worth a lot of money still. In the used market, sometimes they're more valuable than a new bike. Harley also sells on credit, and uh, we believe the credit, uh, consumer credit is going to get worse, and there's less room for expensive hobbies. So you have both a secular declining business that's made worse by the COVID crisis. All right. I also want to point out that just last week, analysts over, uh, again, at Argus upgraded Harley-Davidson to a buy rating from a hold, reflecting their positive view of the company's new strategic plan. So there's certainly a trade war brewing with regard to buyers and sellers in, in Harley Davidson. And finally, before we let you go, Mitch, what exactly is the outlook for the rest of the year, given your tilt towards long and short? What exactly are you, are you banking on for the next six to nine months? So our fund invests in earnings growth and free cash flow for the next five years. But over the next year, we expect nothing but more volatility. The lockdown is an economic crisis. And that economic crisis is affecting many businesses worse than others. And our goal is to own the winners and be short the losers and manage volatility so that we can make money in up markets and also protect capital and make money in down markets. All right. A true active management philosophy, long, short trades. Thank you very much, Mitch Rubin, over at River Park. We appreciate your thoughts this morning or this afternoon. We appreciate it.